My name is Tim McCarthy, author of Raising Four-Dimensional Children in a Two-Dimensional World. Authority Magazine invited me here to share with you five steps we can take to raise children with healthy social media and digital media habits. So, number one, start early. No screen time for infants. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends zero screen time before the age of 18 months. Yet, according to the Huffington Post, in one study, 50% of parents in Arizona believe their children learn as much watching TV as being with their parents. Don't fool yourself. Setting them in front of a TV may be easier, but it'll not have the long-term benefits of personal interaction. Television shows and even the news are filled with violence and disaster. And even what's called child-friendly TV has commercials that brainwash the child into needing their products. Also understand that supposedly educational videos, games, have little to no research to back up their claims of educational value. Number two, limit screen time for preschoolers to one hour a day. And don't just hand the child a device and walk away. Using two-dimensional technology can seemingly put your child into a trance where she's so engrossed in the screen that the real world seems to disappear. Dr. Ellen Wartella of Northwestern University describes it as being hypnotized by technology, causing the child not to interact with her as she would as if she were being sharing a book with her. In fact, there's research that shows that children this age have difficulty transferring the skills learned in two dimension into their real world experience. In addition, there's evidence that the amount of screen time young children spend is associated with poorer executive functions and self-regulation. The only notable exception might be using FaceTime with relatives so that the child gets visual cues from facial expressions and immediate reaction and interaction from the experience. Number three, Hold off on giving your child a phone. Seriously, why does a six-year-old need a phone? To keep up with the Joneses? Because his friends have phones? Childhood is a precious time and does not last long. Please encourage your child to run and play in the real world and postpone the two-dimensional world for later. You'll have plenty of time and opportunity in the years to come to become fully technologically literate. Number four, no social media accounts until high school. Cite the rules of the social media companies and blame them. They have age limits. Be sure to install password protected parental controls on all devices in the house, including the phone you'll eventually give your child. Insist that you become a friend or have access to all social media accounts and apps so you can monitor what goes on. Turn on location so you can find a missing phone or a missing child. Set up these rules as conditions of getting the phone or tablet or computer. It's easier to live with rules you don't like than to suddenly have privileges taken away that you thought were your rights. And finally, number five, limit screen time, but separate work time from play time. Schoolwork done on a tablet or a computer is necessary. Encourage it, but also monitor it. Set limits of play time that includes watching TV, gaming, social media, and texting or talking on the phone. At the beginning, you should be present during all interactions. As your child grows older 
and earn some trust, you can relax the necessity for your physical presence. Negotiate with your preteen or teenager as to what would be the reasonable playtime during the week and on weekends. Arrive at a number of hours acceptable to you both and then enforce it. Your teen will probably discover she totally misunderstood and underestimated the amount of time she spends on social media, but she'll have to accept the limits she agreed to. You can renegotiate every six months or so as she gets older. Establish screen-free zones in the house, like the kitchen, the dining room, the bedrooms at night, and of course, the car while driving. Here's the hard part. You have to follow those rules yourself. Take all devices and charge them in one location away from the bedrooms overnight. I hope this advice helps you raise your children with healthy social media and digital media habits.